Heroes and Heroes, it's time for Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. Okay, it's Friday the 13th. We have 13 games for you tonight on tap, and you're watching KRDO News Channel 13 talk about symmetry. Welcome to the Friday Night Blitz, powered by Pikes Peak State College. I'm your host, Rob Namnum. The Mesa Ridge football team was rolling, heading into their matchup with Rampart tonight as the Grizz had won four in a row, while their opponent tonight, Rampart, was looking to start a win streak of their own after winning last week. For more on the Grizz and the Rams, let's join Danny Mata. Hey, Danny, you're in house tonight. You're our house cat. Good evening. Yeah, dude, it's so weird. It's warm in here and all that. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, Rampart had won three straight games. Been kind of a roller, roller coaster season for them. They won three straight, lost three straight before coming back in a big way against Cheyenne Mountain last week. And it was homecoming night for the Rams. But as you mentioned, Mesa Ridge was on a four game winning streak coming in, and they had put up 60 points twice during that stretch. It's our Friday night blitz pick of the week, and it was homecoming night. Congratulations to Allie Dobbs and DeAndre McFarlane on being named homecoming queen and king at a fireworks show at halftime. A lot of fun. More fireworks here is James Royer with the interception on Bryce Reel to get Rampart in good field position, but they would not score, partially because of this play by Tevin Reel with the big hit right there. That would force a punt. Mesa gets the ball back, and off goes the offense. Isaiah Jones just cutting it back. This dude is not a guy I would ever want to be in front of when he is running full speed. Dragging defenders out of bounds. That would lead to this real rolling out. This time it'll work. Cody Cuffield with the touchdown. He later asked us, hey, did you get that touchdown? Yeah, we got it, bro. 34-7 Mesa at that point. And then later, real to Tevin Real, his brother. They're a great basketball duo. They're a great football duo for the long touchdown. Grizzlies go on to win this one by a score of 47 to 21. Banning Lewis opening up their new stadium with a ribbon cutting. Rob Namnin loves him a good ribbon cutting. First place showdown on the field with CSCS early on. Joseph Begov Begovich with a touchdown run for Banning Lewis. And just like that, 7-0 Stallions. There's actually 6-0 Stallions. Then later, Chase Real get into the end zone for the touchdown. 14-0 after the two-point conversion. Ensuing kickoff, Eddie Harmon for the Lions with a great kick return here. Gets up close to midfield. That would not result in any points, however, while Banning just kept rolling. Sam Bell to Chase Real for the touchdown. Banning Lewis continues to roll. They win this one big by a score of 48 to nothing. So Rob Banning comes into a first place showdown and does to CSCS what they've been doing to everyone this year. They look unstoppable right now in 1A. Yeah, Coach only doing a great job at the BL. All right, thank you for that, Danny. Only 12 miles separates Air Academy High School from Palmer Ridge High School and the Cadets. Tonight, we're trying to close the gap on the number one ranked team in Class 4A to the Cato. We go for this one. Pick it up in the second quarter. The Bears knocking on the door. Once again, Alvir Elvira goes in untouched, and the Bears would build a 41-0 advantage in the second quarter with 10 minutes to go. Next drive, Gabe Klein taking advantage of an opportunity. Hits the hole. Look at that. High and tight. Down to about the two, and then next play, Klein just stretches to the goal line. It's a TD. Bears are perfect on the season as they win 55 to nothing. Pueblo South and Lewis Palmer from Don Bree Stadium looking sharp. Early action, Kenton Kenley, the quick hitter to Evan Westfall. And Westfall going to run up the sideline and pick up a Ranger first down. Same drive, Loop DeBoer. Exciting, takes the pitch and he's got a tutty. Seven nothing Rangers in the South going to work on O. Caden Herrera, the slant to Armando Manuel and he sheds a tackle and there he goes. A big gainer, that's some yak yards there for the South Colts but the Rangers defense tough tonight. Darian Zoll comes in with the sack. Rangers win 27 to seven, Falcon in Pueblo West to Cyclone Stadium we go. Falcon defense turning up the heat. Gavin Lockett is going to be taken down by Jacob Nelms.
then P. West returning the favor. Garrett O'Brien. Oh, he's going to pick off that pass. And a fine return by O'Brien. And then the Cyclones moving the football. First they had to huddle up. Lock it to Brock Keck. Oh, that's a beauty of a ball. Corner of the end zone, nicely done there. But Falcon, the Falcon, Falcons, they would have an answer. Carter Thorpe having a fine season. Going downtown to Ashton Luttrell. And look at that, he wasn't gonna be denied till he got into the blue paint. But Pete up, they would win by a score of 33 to 19. There's more to come in this installment of the Friday Night Blitz, including a matchup between Vista Ridge and Cheyenne Mountain. The Red Tail Hawks trying to put a stop to the Wolves' four-game win streak. Could they do that? Find out next.